So, back to on topic. Happy birthday, Arteta. I think you've done a... Happy birthday, sir. I think you've done a very good job. I think any rumors of him leaving are bullshit. It don't make any fucking sense. The board literally stood by him when it looked like he was going to get us into the bottom half of the season. <laughs> when we couldn't score a fucking goal to save our lives. So, <clears throat> happy birthday to you. I think you've done a very de- very good job so far, especially this season. And it's only upwards and onwards. So, you know, I think I'm going to give you the full... Whenever I said I need three years to judge him, I think so far those first three years have actually been pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. Taking everything into account. We had an FA Cup win in there. We might have top four in there too. So, um, overall... Very excited for what for what the future holds. I just want you to be better at managing egos, uh, Arteta. I think some of the best managers are also very good at managing egos, and I think that's one one possible uh, thing that you can improve on. Mm. Try to be constructive. <laughs> constructive criticism. Okay, what you got to say, Paulo? Final message to Arteta, to the boss man. Hey, yo, boss, man. Happy birthday, sir. Um, hope you have spent a good time with your uh, family. Um, and if you don't make top four, <laughs> you, you get sacked. Bro. You're getting sacked. You get the boot. You build them right? up just to tear them down. Man, that's fucked up. Let's do it. All right. Well, but, no, no, but real talk, though, Fabian, <laughs> real quick. All right, let me just say this real quick, all right? Uh, my expectation is top four, Arteta. And the reason I expect that is because you put you put that back in us, right? Because you you, you go back to our, our last videos, like at the beginning of this year of this season. You know, I was maybe saying seventh, eighth, eighth place. I think what I was saying maybe sixth place. Mm-hmm. I think you said six. And I think I, I was like wilding out over there because everybody expected you to be at eighth place by the end of this year, right? Uh, but you kind of given us that hope, right? Which it's it's it comes a lot to Arsenal fans, dangerous. right? Because you can see it's it's dangerous, yeah. Because it's like it's like you're having your like you know dying by your own tour, right? Type of thing. Uh, because you you can feel it in you can feel it in the games. And like we 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 sit here and you you can see that there's like a a confidence that you're that you've put in back into these players and. And the fans and the, at the stadium, yep. you can see that in the atmosphere, or you can hear it in the atmosphere, and you you brought that back, man. So that's why my expectation is so high as it is now. I haven't seen an atmosphere like Wolves in years. That game we won against Wolves at the last minute, man, it hasn't been like that since fucking Alexis Sanchez was around. Yeah, it was, it's been a it's been a long time, man. And uh, and and if you if you give us this Champions League back. That we've missed it, and we you we used to joke about that we always make top four, and we never you know we never ambitious enough to go for the Champions League all the way, right? Or the Premier League, win the Premier League. But I mean, if we if, if if you give us Champions League, I feel like you're gonna get a lot of people, including myself, that be like, okay, it's time to give you some like actual time. 